Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage, and today is Clutch Hydraulics Day. Let's go. So what are we working with today? This is a Clutch Hydraulics package from Goodwin Racing. It includes the Clutch Master, Slave, and a 60-inch steel braided hose, as well as this Willwood Dot 3 brake fluid. Link in the description, as well as part numbers for these equal by Exidy parts. All right, let's get her done. So this is our clutch master cylinder over here on the firewall. The reservoir is filled with dirty fluid, so I wanna drain as much out as possible before removing it. I feel a little bit like a one trick pony. You keep seeing my same ghetto tools here. This is my favorite vacuum bleeder. I'm gonna use this to drain the fluid. And every time I open the hood, I feel like I need to apologize for how appallingly disgusting this is. I promise we'll clean this up in a future episode. There's not a lot of fluid in there, but what did come out was really quite gross. Ah, it's my old enemy, flare nut. You're not gonna give me any trouble, are you? If you wanna see me hate life struggling to remove a flare nut, click here. I hit this with PB Blaster a few times, but I'm gonna use the same techniques I've used before. Line wrench, torque it over a bit, get something like this ratchet to strike the wrench, and give it a few taps. And thankfully, this has come out pretty easy. The master cylinder is attached to the firewall with two 12 millimeter nuts on studs. Now let's remove this hard line from this clip. There's a series of them along the firewall and we're not reusing this hard line because we have that long steel braided hose. Looks like we'll need to remove this bolt here so that we can move this bracket which holds the throttle cable and the vacuum hard line out of the way. Now this hard line is off this clip and we can work on the flare nut here. Yay, we have another flare nut over here. Unfortunately, I don't think I can use my tapping method because there's not enough room here, so I'm just gonna have to muscle it. Pack a bunch of my old gym socks down here. The old hard line's out, we'll leave this bracket loose so that we can route the new stainless steel hose along the same path. Now we'll slide out this retaining clip so that this old rubber clutch line can be removed. Here we are at the clutch slave cylinder. There's a hard line coming in on the right with a flare nut, yay, and two 12 millimeter bolts holding it to the transmission. There's not a lot of space here, so I'm gonna try to film this, but you're probably gonna see a lot of my hands. We need to remove that 10 millimeter bolt that has the hard line holder on it. Now that hard line is loose. Well, the hits just keep on coming. There's another flare nut down there. I didn't realize that this rubber hose goes to another hard line that's attached to another bracket. I don't know how I'm gonna get in there to remove that, but I unfortunately can't film it. It's really tucked in behind the motor there. Okay, from underneath the car, I was able to use some tin snips to cut the hard line as close to that bracket as possible. And here we have it, here's our old stuff. To get the lower hard line off was a little bit difficult. I was able to get the flare nut off on the slave cylinder, but the top one behind the motor was very difficult to get to. I had to cut it with a pair of tin snips, pull it through the bracket, and then I was able to remove this from the top. Which leads to a question, why did Mazda decide to design this clutch hydraulic line to have three pieces? Two hard lines, one rubber line, four flare nuts. It just seems that there's more potential failure points than necessary. But what do I know? I'm mostly useless. We're back over here at the extremely messy workbench where I have the new stuff laid out. The first thing to do will be to bench bleed the master cylinder and the slave cylinder. This is Willwood High Temperature Dot 3 Racing Brake Fluid that comes in the Goodwin kit. Let's fill some up in the master cylinder reservoir. Cap on so I don't make a mess. Screwdriver. Until we see some brake fluid come through. Nice. Now the slave cylinder. Our 
our slave cylinder is ready, our master cylinder is ready, let's go ahead and put this in the car. Let's install the master cylinder. Next, let's install this fitting adapter on the master cylinder. Well, that's curious. I was expecting this fitting on the braided hose to crush this copper washer on this adapter piece. But as you can see, it is just kind of sitting here and it can't go on the other side either because this is already snug. Hmm. All right, we've gone and routed this down here. It's in the position. Now we go under the car. We've added some fluid into the reservoir, opened the bleeder screw on the slave cylinder, and guess what? I still don't have any friends, so I'm gonna try to vacuum bleed this thing the way I did the brakes. Hey, it's my best friend, the Ratcheting Cargo Bar. Say hi. Hey guys. The vacuum bleeding's not working, so I'm using this guy to hold the clutch pedal down to do a pedal bleed. It took some doing, but we finally got the air out. That is a bled clutch. The last thing to do is just secure this braided line. Final finishing touches here. I received this thermal wrap from Amazon today. So I've put this on the clutch line. It's always nice to have a little bit of thermal protection on hydraulic lines, especially if it goes close to the engine and on the exhaust side. This is on the intake side, but since we're doing the job, it doesn't hurt to add this. And last thing, by the clutch master cylinder here, there was a factory plastic clip holding that hard line. I replaced it with this rubberized wire holder. I've used these before in the aluminum radiator upgrade episode. Watch that here. It's not snug in this holder, it's just meant to locate the line along this path. Okay, let's go for a quick test drive, test out this clutch hydraulics package and the new rear brakes. So right off the bat, the clutch feels good. Engagement and that bite point's really nice. So just give it a nice easy brake here, brake test. So everything's working as it should. Brakes, clutch, and all the other stuff that I touch that's likely to fail. All right, back to the fort. So what did we learn today? Well, today I learned that the stock NA Miata's clutch hydraulic line has multiple potential failure points. The Goodwin Racing Clutch Overhaul Combo Kit eliminates a number of those failure points, especially if you get the extra long steel braided line, which eliminates the crossover OEM hard line. Removing the OEM rubber hose and the lower coiled hard line was a bit difficult. I recommend not trying to save those parts, just cut the hard line and remove it altogether. The Miata Clutch Slave Cylinder is known to fail, so if you ever clutch in and find that you're grinding gears, this is a likely culprit. Overall, this job is quite straightforward and satisfying, replacing old parts that could go bad at any moment with new, slightly upgraded parts. So this is an extra easy one. Not everyone's a professional mechanic or a veteran DIY wrencher. I hope this shows you that any fool can work on a car. I encourage you to jump in and start DIYing. That's all from the Mostly Useless Garage. Take care of yourselves and the ones that you love. You keep being awesome, I'll keep being useless. Thanks for watching.